This question is about uh, parabolas and equations of normals to parabolas. So for part A, we are told we have a, cu a curve uh, or a parabola C and it has a Cartesian equation y squared is 16x. There is a point P on the line which has x coordinate 40 squared, y coordinate 80, and that's a general point on the line. We are asked to write down the coordinates of the focus F and the equation of the directrix. Okay, you should know that the general equation of a parabola is y squared is equal to 4ax. And that's given in your formula booklet. Okay, now we are told in our case that y squared is equal to 16x. Therefore, equating these, 4a must be equal to 16. So from that, we can say that 4a must equal 16. And that gives us that a must equal 4. Now the focus of a general uh, parabola is a0. That's given in the form of booklet. So our focus in this case must be 4, 0. And the equation of the directrix is always x plus a is 0. So in our case, x plus 4 is 0. Or equivalent to that, x is equal to negative 4. It's very important that you write this as a coordinate. You don't just state 4, it's 4, 0. And it's very important you write this as an equation of a line in one of those two forms. And there are your three straightforward marks. Now, part B, show the equation of the normal at uh, the curve is as follows. Now, I just, just for the sake of it, let's just draw out the picture. It's nice to have it. Okay, we know that uh, 4 here, x, x plus 4 equals 0, that's the uh, directrix. We know that the, the point here, uh, 4, 0, is the focus. And we know the curve is going to look something something of that nature. And P is a point on the line here, and P has uh, coordinates um, 40 squared 80. So P has coordinates 40 squared and 80. And we want to work out the equation of the normal, so we want to work out the equation of that line there. And to do that, we are going to use the equation of the tangent uh, at first. So, the equation of the normal uh, any straight line, here's our equation of the normal, has equation y, subtract y1, is mx, subtract x1. Now, do we know a point that lies on this line? Yes, we do. So our x1, y1, well, the only point we know on the, that lies on the normal line is this point p, so that's going to be 40 squared, 80. So we have ourselves this and this. The only thing we need left is the m. Right? So we need to work out the gradient of that normal. So to do that, we're going to work out the gradient of the tangent. Now, our curve is y squared is equal to 16x. Okay? So we want to differentiate this. So let's make y the subject. We're going to take square roots. y is therefore equal to 4, the square root of x. Square root in both of these. So we can write that in index form as y is 4x to the half. Now it's easy to differentiate dy by dx. Well, bring down the half. Keep the 4 as it is. x to the half minus 1, which is negative a half. So tidying that up, a half times 4 is 2. And x to the minus half is, is divided by the square root of x, as follows. So there is our dy by dx in general. Now, we want dy by dx at a certain point. We want dy by dx, and you should continue down the page here, but we want dy by dx when x is equal to 40 squared, right? At this point. So we substitute that in, and we get 2 over the square root of 40 squared, and the square root of 40 squared is 2t, so 2 over 2t is 1 over t. So, and you should continue the, down the page. Therefore... The gradient of the tangent is 1 over t, and therefore the gradient of the normal is its negative reciprocal, is negative t. So now we've got everything we need to 
uh, write this equation. We have now got our m as well. It is negative t. So all we have to do is sub in. So y, subtract y1, which is uh, 8t, is equal to negative t, x subtract x1, which is x subtract 4t squared. Okay, multiply this out. y subtract 8t is negative tx plus 4t cubed. Add tx to both sides, subtract 8t, or add 8t, and you get y plus tx is equal to 8t plus 4t cubed, and you've got exactly what you were looking for, for five marks, and you're done.